बेस टू एमीटर पॉइंट थ्री वन जीरो बेस टू एमीटर रिवर्स द लीड्स इट इज गिविंग पॉइंट सिक्स एट सो दिस जंक्शन इज नाउ गिविंग रीडिंग इन बोथ डायरेक्शन अलमैकम वरहल वर्क फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल चेक अ एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर हाउ वी कैन टेस्ट इट एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ अ एन पी एन स्विच एंड वी विल सी वट आर द मोस्ट कामन फेलियर्स ऑफ अ एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर वेन वी डिस्कस ट्रांजिस्टर इट इज अ थ्री टर्मिनल डिवाइस might be it is in this shape sometime it is to 92 shape sometime it is in power transistor sometime it is to 220 shape so in any package the basic structure of a transistor is composition of three slices n material p material and n material n material this material have excess of electrons here the electrons are deficient and this material is positive charge carrier this is negatively charged it is positive charge carrier and this one is negative charged so when we combine three slices combine to each other so this material n and p it makes a barrier it is called junction n p junction the second p n junction we can say p n junction p n junction or n p junction n p junction but most commonly it is said p n junction so the common material that is in the center it makes two junctions one junction to the right side one junction to the left side so the common material that is called base and then we have emitter then we have collector in a generic sample of npn transistor it have a base collector and emitter emitter it have a arrow mark which is pointing out so it is pointing out we can say it is not pointing in if we have a transistor for example we say it is pointing in pointing in so p n and then it is p pointing in point in so arrow point inside and this is not pointing in not pointing in first n p n you can determine very easily it is very easy key point to understand this symbol some people don't know what is this symbol so it is not pointing in if it is pointing in that means p and p it is not pointing in yani we can say it is pointing out we can say it is n p and not pointing in if you look here it looks like two diodes which have common anodes so anode is positive in each diode so p it is common n cathode n cathode so we will nominate these terminals as emitter collector my this statement does not mean that a transistor have two diodes but its junctions look like two diodes inside like here base collector emitter hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it to test a transistor we need a multimeter ohm meter r any multimeter which have diode function set multimeter to test diode it will display the diode symbol to test our diode what we do we connect one lead to one side second lead to second side a red lead that means positive lead will connect it to the anode and black lead connected to cathode this diode will forward bias and we will see 0.7 volt and if we re reverse the leads here this will show open circuit same procedure we will adopt with this and we will fill out this table to understand the test procedure of our transistor and then we will continue to the
failures of a transistor. I have one transistor here set multimeter to measure the diode function and we will make any one lead common. I have two leads here test probes. This one is red lead. Red is named as positive lead. So we will connect this red lead to any one terminal. Okay. And we will connect to this lead. It is open circuit. To this lead, open circuit. We can say this is lead number one, lead number two, lead number three. We consider red lead as a common and we connect to one lead, second lead. Red common at pin number one. The leftmost we will consider as pin number one. We connected black lead to this pin. It is open. This lead open. Now we will swap this lead, common lead, to the center terminal, pin number two. So red as a common to pin number two. Now we will connect this lead to pin one, is one and two. It is 0 0.662, 0 0.662, or we can check the resistance. It is 4.63, this is volt, 4.6K. Here it is 4.99, 4.99K, or we can set to diode. It is point six six four. So we have two readings here. Then we will move this red lead to this pin, the three number pin. Red common to pin number three. Black lead to pin number one. It is open. open. We moved red lead from here, then we selected common here, then we selected common here. Now we will leave this lead and we will select black lead as a common. And same procedure we will connect to the pin number one. Black as a common to pin number one. Connect to the center pin. 0.663 Okay, now move red lead to the rightmost pin. It is open. Black was common at pin number one. Now black move to common pin number two. Red lead to pin number one. Open. Red lead to pin number three. Open. Now, move this common lead to pin number 3. Take red lead, pin number 1, this common to pin number 3. Now open and red lead to pin number 2, 0 0.664. So this table is now very useful to find the transistor polarity and emitter and collector. We have to select the position where we got two readings. That is here. The first condition red lead was common and common was at pin number two and we got reading 0.662 and 0.664. Let's see this condition again. So red lead at pin number two black lead here we have 0 0.668 here we have 0 0.670 the more resistance 
between this pin and this pin it is base 2 emitter the high resistance the more drop voltage so it is emitter the low reading that is collector and the common that is base so where is the base base is here and collector base to collector we have 0.662 volt and here we have 0.66 what is the reading anyone reading it is 0.670 it is 0.678 what is soever the low resistance or the low voltage drop between base to collector so it is collector emitter and the base more voltage drop between base to emitter less voltage drop between base to collector now what was the common common was our red pin red was common at pin number two so red is P positive so common when common is P positive red probe it was black so it is negative and so transistor type N P N because this negative probe was at this pin this is emitter and if we see and if you see physically on these metal case transistors we have index pin here that will indicate that this is emitter and the pin this pin is connected to the metal case so it is collector collector is the chassis the remaining pin that is base emitter is marked as an index pin so it is emitter base collector what are the most common failures of a transistor we had identified base to emitter we have this 0 0.670 base to collector we have 0 0.667 and if we reverse the leads from here to here it will not show anything it should be open if you connect red lead to anode, black lead to cathode, this diode is forward bias. If you reverse the leads here, this diode will reverse bias. Similar is here. So common is base. That is base here. Base to this diode or base to collector, it will forward bias. It is 0 0.670. 667 or like that and if we reverse the leads it must open this is a good condition because these transistors are dealing with power sometimes with high amount of current or due to any reason high temperature temp junction temperature will increase these junctions melt these junctions break and these materials lose their specifications so it become as a one chip so all the circuit all these diodes will short circuit sometime one junction is open sometime both junctions are short sometime one junction is short so let's check emitter base collector short how we can say this transistor is good or this transistor is bad Base to emitter 0 0.310. Base to emitter. Reverse the leads. It is giving 0 0.68. So this junction is now giving reading in both directions. So it is not a good reading. These power transistors have marking E B emitter base. And the chassis that is collector. So it is 
emitter to base short and base to collector short if we swap the leads it will give the same indication so that this transistor is short circuit with both junctions base base to emitter short base to collector 0.21 0.21 so base to collector now it is short circuited and if we reverse the reads 0.17 so this transistor is bad it have short circuit between emitter base collector and this is then there is a condition because collector is dealing with high current sometimes base to collector one junction or one diode we can say one junction will damage and this transistor will not work this is base it is totally short circuit swap the leads it is totally short circuit base to emitter junction it's good base to emitter it's one side open swap the leads so it is base to collector short circuit then we have other condition then we have other condition base to emitter open so this is base base to collector 0.607 it is open here it is the same transistor 4239 swap the reads same so this one base to emitter it is open base to collector good base to emitter open that one diode is burn out from inside sometime its internal leads are disconnected sometimes its junction is open then base to collector short base to emitter open like this condition and this condition we have these two conditions same here base to collector short base to collector short base to emitter open base to collector short base to emitter open so this transistor will never work because its internal structure is damaged emitter base collector open here was ba emitter base collector short circuit and this one is totally open with all junctions open open so these are the failures of a transistor and we will also continue to the function to the structure of the transistor and different categories in class a class b class c class d and how it works as a amplifier and how it works as a switch i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question kindly let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh